I guess I should take it away then. Well, welcome everybody. It's really good to see you all here. Uh, this is a very, very special uh, evening indeed. So uh, welcome to Listening for the Whispers. Uh, that is, uh, Robin and I were having a, a quick conversation on the phone and it came up that, uh, you know, we, what should we call it? And we were bantering about some things and all of a sudden uh, it just, there was a, a, a pregnant pause there for a while. And I just said, we're listening for the whispers. And she said, she absolutely loved it. And, uh, you know, the more I've thought about that, you know, you know, you could add to that, uh, listening for the, the whispers and uh, um, knowing what to say. And that's, I think, where peer support uh, comes in, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, without further ado, uh, that's all I'm going to say at this point, but I would like to introduce uh, the person who uh, is the backbone of this, the person who is Robin Priest, Live Your Truth, Peer Support, uh, and the person who uh, has, um, well, I'm getting emotional already. <laughs> uh, Robin, you've changed my life, and uh, I, uh, I just hope that um, uh, I can do uh, the, the best I can possibly do as a peer support worker in your honor in the future. And uh, I'm going to now introduce you to the woman herself. Uh, why don't you all give a great big welcome to Robin Priest. <laughs> um, thanks, Tim. You forgot to say who you were, buddy. But uh, Tim's our amazing MC tonight. And uh, I, I just want to say this started off as... Um, <laughs> see, I'm getting emotional. This started off as me wanting to just kind of do uh, a small like kind of hangout concert in memory of my brother. Uh, and everyone knows, like I haven't hid that, that he um, died this time last year by suicide. And I just, I think we don't talk about it enough. We don't talk about it when we feel that way. We don't talk about it when it happens. Um, and as someone who, oh, this could be a shock to my mum, uh, my mum and my other brother are on this call tonight. And I think as, as someone who's attempted to kill themselves in the past, and I'm very glad that that didn't happen at that time, I think um, sometimes we just feel alone and that the burden to our family and friends um, is too much to stay and I, I think the piece is that if we can reach out as family as friends if we can want to hear when people are struggling and just be in that conversation um, with people I think that's what can make the hugest difference not about trying to stop us from doing something or like trying to convince us to stay but being in a conversation to explore those little slivers of hope that can have us want to be here just that little bit longer and I think thinking back last year I had many a conversation with my brother for the last few months where I think he stayed around longer because we just got to sit in those conversations. And what I want to do with this is bring awareness that, um, like bring awareness that if we can be in the conversations, if we can sit and we can talk about openly how we feel without someone judging us for how we feel, then I think that makes the difference. And if, as family and friends, we can talk about it afterwards and be open and honest about what occurred and not try and hide that it was suicide. Because, you know, I think sometimes there's shame and guilt 
with that and so people don't talk about it but I truly truly believe if we can have more open conversations then maybe we can create spaces where people do talk about how they feel and be real about how they feel so um, tonight for me is an exploration an exploration of love an exploration of love for the people who've taken their lives for whatever their reasons and an exploration for love for all of us here and actually truth be told for me for everyone that's on the planet and just being able to sit in our own discomfort sometimes and and I've got to tell you this is a little uncomfortable because I want to cry but I want to celebrate my bro in this amazing way and um, so I'm wearing this shirt which one of my favorite people gave to me for Christmas because my brother and I used to drink Bundaberg rum together and, and just laugh and joke and he was my best friend when I was a, a kid and he became like a super close friend again but there were times we didn't talk as much because we had very different views on lots of things and I you know, I think being able to to just talk no matter what is is such an important thing. And I don't even know if I'm making sense right now. But I do want to say I want to thank all of you for joining. I want to thank all of the artists for giving their time. I do want to say we didn't put this on the advertising, but if anyone feels the urge, this is a free concert. We just wanted to put it on in in memory and to bring awareness to this. There's a couple of places that if you decide you want to do a donation to, like go and do it, right? I'm, I'm just going to put that out there. So we've got a, a couple of places. One in Manitoba uh, is Clinic um, and they've got the Manitoba Suicide Prevention Support Line. And I know there's going to be information going up about how to do that. One is Canada Suicide Prevention Service and their crisis line. Um, and I think they're amazing lines. And then um, we have started here at uh, Charlotte and Kirsten and I, and Charlotte is my amazing business partner and, and Kirsten is someone who does amazing work with us. And the three of us have started a, uh, a non-profit called um, all in the family peer support. Um, now, it doesn't have its donation status yet, but we're hoping the next few weeks that will occur. So if you want to pledge something to us, because we're going to be running workshops and family peer support around this topic and many others, um, just email Charlotte at charlotte at robinpriest.com and we will get back to you with that. So this isn't about us as money grabbing. This is about us saying, here's some options. If you feel the urge to donate uh, like a quarter or all of your money, we'll take it all. We have no problem with that. Um, but we just, what we want to do is give back to our community because our community is what holds us here. And so I, I love you all. I want to keep this conversation going we've decided we're going to do something like this every single year to keep bringing awareness to this important topic so um yeah it just means the world that you all are prepared to hang with me and do this so i am um gonna let it go and i will talk later um you may see me crying in the little side but uh, Tim, I'm, I'm gonna throw it back to you. Thank you very much, Robin. Well, I think what we should do is get to this show on the road. Uh, very inspiring and amazing and truthful words uh, have never been more uh, important to hear. Uh, yeah. So I am now going to introduce somebody who I am very close with. She happens to be my sister. Uh, my sister Corrine's uh, 
uh, acting career uh, started way back in 1981, and I saw her very first performance in a theater three production here in Edmonton of uh, Brendan Behan's The Hostage. And it wasn't a speaking part, but she was playing piano and looking very wistful off to the side. And she stole a lot of the scenes just from her presence alone. Uh, 13 seasons at the, uh, the Shaw Festival. Uh, she's performed in every major theater across Canada, as well as doing productions in Edinburgh, Boston, and England. Her television work includes uh, uh, the appearance on uh, Schitt's Creek, uh, the Corner Gas animated series, and uh, the very lovable but stoic character, Rachel, the next door neighbor in Anne with an E. Uh, she has been, uh, 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 she has won more awards that, uh, that I can even start to mention. And uh, uh, she's the best sister anybody could ever have. Um, what she will be doing is a reading from a production that she was in at one time. Uh, the production uh, is called Middletown and it is written by playwright Will Eno. Please welcome my sister, Corrine Coswell. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues, members of the board, local dignitaries, everybody really, stockbrokers, dock workers, celebrities, nobodies. Ladies and gentlemen, all comers, newcomers, the newly departed, the poorly depicted, people who are still teething, who are looking for a helpful verb, the quote, beautiful, the unquote, unbeautiful, whose bones are just so, whose veins are just so. The drunk, the high, the down, the blue, los pueblos, los animales, foreigners, strangers, Bookworms, those people whose eyes are tired from trying to read something into everything. Those at a crossroads, in a crisis, a quandary, a velvety chair. The dirty, the hungry, yes, we the cranky. The thirsty, the furious, the happy those full of life, loaded with it, gorged on words, and of course, the bereaved and the bereft. And let's not forget the local merchants, smiling faces, the placeholders, us, who are slowly graying, slowly leaving, making all of this possible, this um, activity, this festivity, this dream dreamt with eyes wide open, with closed eyes. Friends of the deceased, the diseased, friends of the disowned, and of course, healthy, friendly people with great skin and congenital heart defects. Hmm. Sports fans, sufferers of autism, the down and outers, the non-believers, animal lovers everywhere, real people, people without certainty, with doubts, with nothing else really to mention. The majority of us in the background, silent, stifled, delinquent, barely hanging on at times. Running out of hope, time, air, heart, 
nerves, chances, love, friends, courage, faith, all of it, all of it, all of us. Songs, everything, those affect nothing. Those that can't hang on anymore, barely could. Gentle, gentle people. Infinitely injured people, um, lost souls, uh, ghouls, ghosts, descendants, shades, shadows, future ancestors. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I'm forgetting someone. Um, friends, likenesses, darknesses, citizens, people. Hopeful, hopeful people. Every last lone, inconsolable, dying person. <laughs> Breathers, breathing people. Welcome. Thank you. Well, we're all muted, but I'm sure we're hearing a lot of people saying, oh, holy smokes. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Kareem. Oh, wow. That was, that was incredible. Well, this is going to, this, this is, you know, wonderful that I have um, this opportunity to introduce the next person who is going to perform. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I met this man when he joined up with uh, um, the premier R&B funk band out of Toronto known as the Lincolns. When I saw him the very first time, met him and started goofing off with him, that probably was, I think, 87, maybe 88 uh, and uh, ever uh, shortly after uh, leaving the Lincolns, uh, this gentleman started a solo career that has uh, done gangbusters. He is a force to be reckoned with. He won, I believe, gosh, I can't remember the year that Guitar Wars was, um, but um, uh, that doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, two-time Gemini Award nominee, three-time Western Canadian Music Awards uh, winner and a Juno Award winner, my very good friend, Mr. Jack Semple. Wow, thank you, Tim. <clears throat> it's very nice to be here. I'm honored to participate in this event. And uh, I'm going to sing a couple of tunes for you. And this song is, uh, but by the way, Tim, I should mention that I, I pulled myself away from calving season just for this event. So uh, anyway, this is a song about perseverance, about sticking to it and uh, staying on the road. I walk in the morning and I walk at night. I walk in a town in the pale moonlight. I walk in a losing a lost and found. I wonder where it is I am bound to keep walking night and day. I keep walking miles away. I walk to work and I walk to play. When my walk is through, I 
Thank you. I can hear the silent clapping. Uh, this is another. I'm going to do another tune, and this song is about another song about sticking with it, being persistent, and uh, I dedicate this to my my wife. It's called "Can't Stop This Love."
Thank you so much, Jack. That was hot, hot amazing. Thank you so much. My Kick pleasure. Butt. That was great. And thank you for the comment about caffeine season. That's an old uh, uh, inside joke that uh, Jack and I have had for years that I did not expect that to fly my way, so to speak. Well, uh, folks, um, we're going to move right along. Uh, one more time for some inaudible clapping for Jack. And we're going to move right along to the next person. This is not going to be a live performance. Uh, she was going to be here live. Um, but uh, she had an opportunity to uh, do something else that was very, very, very important. And I, I actually couldn't agree more. Uh, she's a composer, a musician, a journalist, and an environmentalist. And that's what uh, the opportunity was to go and be heard uh, at a, speci well, a specific location in Alberta, a, a particular dam that there's a quite a large protest, protest at. And she is going to uh, not only share her talent, but her strength there. Um, so uh, we wish her well. But we do have a video of hers. Um, uh, she, uh, is performing one of her own songs and she's, uh, accompanying that, uh, by playing, uh, a very odd instrument to a lot of people. She's, uh, had the opportunity to share the stage playing the Chapman stick with Mr. Bruce Coburn. And, uh, for those of you familiar with uh, Mr. Tony Levin, uh, she's actually had the opportunity, uh, to be on stage with him as well. So, uh, uh, next up, we have um, Dale Latticer. Thank you, Robin and Tim, for allowing me to be a part of this. I have run around on myself. I've run I around think they're going to queue it up and, and, and put I Dale on, Tim. Maybe we have to keep chatting and, and until they do that. I will offer up transgressions I don't intend to name. I am the only one to blame. I have come to seek the answers I'm looking for. And I am living out this restlessness that stole away my youth. I cannot afford the blessings, nor your undiscovered truth. I will not take the fruit, but you I can rely on. And this is the only time I'm not afraid to run. Oh, amen. 
that was amazing. Yeah, that instrument, she actually plays the melody line, which are all the treble strings and the bass simultaneously on one instrument. So it's, uh, it's called the Chapman Stick. Um, wow, that was great. How's everybody doing? Wave? Everybody's okay? Well, Dale can't because she's frozen in time because that was a video. Um, we are going to move on. Uh, and now, uh, um, Robin, what I uh, was thinking of doing was uh, actually um, talking a bit about Garrett's accolades and then um, introducing you and him in that video. Is that all right? Is that okay? Great, wonderful. Oh, like clockwork, so professional. I can't get over it. Hey, zoom just right along, like butter. Okay, uh, his last name is pronounced Nails, I believe. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he uh, Garrett Nails is the winner of the Winnipeg uh, Nightlife Awards Entertainer of the Year. Um, uh, he writes with compassion and a genuine, heartfelt sincerity. When asked what drives him uh, to write such soulful songs, his answer was, if I can help, heal, encourage, or influence even one person, my life is changed for the better. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a video of Robin and uh, Garrett uh, together, and then I believe Garrett will uh, introduce himself to do a song. Hi, Robin. How are you? Uh, I'm good, Garrett. Thanks for um, joining us. And I really appreciate you being willing to kind of be part of this event. And, you know, it's really for thinking about mental health awareness, suicide prevention awareness. And it's it's just this lovely way to, to honour my brother. And so I'm just wondering if you want to, like, share what had you want to get involved in like today absolutely well I, I mean first of all thank you for reaching out to me uh, obviously uh being part of these kind of movements and, and mental health awareness type events is very important to me uh, so i wanted to get involved today because i think that my music um, in particular uh, my lyrics and my ability to be vulnerable and get right into kind of my experiences lends hand in hand to the type of event that you're putting on here and obviously in particular uh, uh, one of the songs that uh, that I'm going to be performing for you guys today is uh, it, it deals exactly with um, you know anxiety dep depression and, and the uh, the feelings that uh, a lot of us and, and I'd say you know the majority of us feel from time to time. And I just think that's so true what you said about the fact that you think a lot of people feel that. And I think a lot of people do. And, and so part of this is about saying it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to reach out. So um, I love the song. I'm looking forward to, to playing it for everyone. I just really appreciate you being here. Is there any advice you want to give people from your own experience? Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I, I think that the main, the main takeaway I want to be able to convey with my songs as an artist is that, yes, it, it's okay not to be okay, but there is work and it is hard work that you have to put in to get to that stage where, you know, you're, you're at a point where you're your mental is strong enough to overcome the day-to-day -day things that, that life throws at us. And undoubtedly, it, it's going to be a tough ride. It, it's, it's not easy. And especially if you want to, you know, seek that fulfilling life and, and that challenging life, there's going to be barriers and obstacles that, that come your way. And, uh, and with this song, I, I just want to, to remind those that are struggling that, yes, there is a there is another side to this, and but it's hard work, and and you need to be committed to the fight, and uh, and that commitment is what uh, is what we need to really share today, I think, in in this meeting and in this uh, in, in 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 this event. Love it. So it's okay to ask for help, and it's okay to to go after it with passion and vigor mm -hmm. to fight through it. So 
Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Robin. Lying on the floor, you knock me off my feet. You find me right where you last left me. Try to drown me in my past. I know that you won't last. Need a way to break myself free now. I thought that it was over. But you keep on coming closer, just like you always do. And you're here again. Welcome back, my oldest friend. Dance on in, just like you always do. And you dare put your hands on me. But you're never gonna hear me beg or scream No, I won't let you get the best of me Anxiety You sneak up in the night when I can't stand a fight You try to stir me off my world But I've been getting strong and soon you won't belong but you will never make me hurt again No matter where I'm hiding You always seem to find me Just like you always do And you're here again Welcome back my oldest friend Dance on in just like you always do you tell put your hands on me But you're never gonna hear me beg or scream I won't let you get the best of me Well, ain't that you? Sometimes I wonder what I'm made of I wonder what I'm made of don't know what I'm afraid of But just leave me alone Oh, now you're here again Welcome back, my oldest friend It's only just like you always do And you tell put your hands on me Gonna hear me beg or scream I won't let you get the best of me Oh no, I won't let you get the best of me Anxiety Was that the only uh, song that he was performing, Robin? Ah, I see. That uh, must have slipped my mind. Ah, uh, okay. Any questions thus far? Anybody? Anybody? Hmm? Nothing? Okay. All right, I'll move right along then. Uh, next, uh, this is uh, indeed uh, going to be a pleasure for those of you, well, which is all of you who didn't have the chance to hear what this uh, uh, young man sounds like. I can't believe I just said young man. That's what happens. You start talking that way just, because I just turned 65. This, this young gentleman, uh, you know, it's just the age thing. Uh, so um, uh, if you, uh, well, you didn't have a chance to hear him. Uh, he, I was, you grabbed me right away and I could tell by the look on a couple of other people's faces uh, you had the same effect on them. So I think you're going to have the same effect on absolutely everybody uh, uh, here in Zoom and the people on Facebook watching as well. So polish up those CDs. Anyway, um, uh, um, this uh, next performer uh, uh, resides at Niagara-on-the-Lake. Uh, 
His uh, name is Oscar Anderson Scott, otherwise known as Drifter. Um, uh, Oscar is a singer songwriter that pens songs about love and loss and all the dirty bits in between. He is, he is um, a very active pursuing uh, uh, opportunities uh, to hone and shine up uh, the craft that is his brilliant music. And uh, I am uh, really looking forward to this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, I think we're gonna reap rewards at, at a very early stage. I, I can see this guy going places. Uh, please uh, welcome uh, um, an inaudible welcome for Drifter. Yeah, thanks everybody. Um, I got three songs for you. Uh, this first song, um, it's a song called Sharks. And uh, I wrote it when I was working out in Alberta and it's, in particular, this song um, kindled a friendship uh, sort of early on when I was trying to do the music thing. It kindled a friendship with a really good buddy. Um, his name is Jordan. And uh, through Jordan and his roommate Ari and the projects they were part of, it sort of propelled me into uh, meeting a lot of people within the scene here and a lot of people I'd never met before. And it really kind of helped me get a, a leg up in that short time I've been doing what I'm doing. So there's a song called Sharks. I hope it sounds all right. And uh, yeah. I sold my soul to the devil. The devil said he'd pay a lovely fee. But when he came to collect it, I realized the devil had lied to me. Now I'm running from the man. I've got my shirt on my back and my picket sign in hand. So let's show the world that I'm a man. Cause when simple's not enough, it's time to take a stand. Whoa, whoa. So pick it up, pick it up, go faster. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, pick it up, pick it up, go faster, and I'll swim the sharks. Maybe you can hit a guitar now, hey! <laughs> Cause I've seen lakes made of acid And they've all burned the whole straight through me And living in a world that's made of plastic Said it's all silicone company that I don't need So I cut the hands off the devil and I return to what he tried to take from me. And now I'm complete, neat, and civil. Cause I rode that train too long. It was time to take a leap. Oh, oh. So pick it up, pick it up, go faster now. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water And pick it up, pick it up, go faster And I'll swim the sharks Cause all your troubles seem so far away With your head in the clouds The world is crumbling down from the ashes brew chemical rain the smell of sulfur will stay as long as i remain in 
still is hurting. So pick it up, pick it up, go faster now. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, pick it up, pick it up, go faster now, and I'll swim the shore. 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 Yeah. So that's a song called Sharks. Uh, and again, it, um, it sort of helped kindle this friendship um, of me and uh, Jordan. And we started writing music together. We started playing in a band. And that was uh, sort of the first time I'd done anything quite like that since uh, high school. And um, I wrote this next song as uh, I bombed a job interview. So I had a job interview for like a uh, landscaping company or whatever. And they asked me what my biggest weakness was. And so I said that um, my biggest weakness was that uh, when other people are goofing off, it's very easy for me to also goof off. And uh, yeah, I don't think that's what they were looking for. So I bombed that job interview and I wrote this song about that experience and Jordan helped me finish it. And uh, we played it live for quite a while and uh, I'll play it for you now. People got all these questions, got it figured out or wrong, and trying to search for an answer in the storm. And when the hour is late and you feel out of place, don't run with your tail between your legs. Say, oh Lord, you gotta push on, push on, Lord, you gotta push on. So push on, push on, Lord, you gotta push on. And the subtle things are ripping through my mind. I found out by the constant hum of wearing this disguise. Cause people got all these answers. Are they the ones that you want? Got people lining up daily with what they got. So when the hour is late and they've noticed your dread. Don't run with your tail between your legs. Say, oh, Lord, you got to push on, push on. Lord, you got to push on. So push on, push on. Lord, you got to push on. But it I fell on my opinion when still yet I crashed into a conference room and broke the father sail. Push on, push on, Lord, you gotta push on. Push on, push on, Lord, you gotta push on. So push on, push on, Lord, you gotta push on. So that's a song that uh, we call Weakness. And uh, again, it was written about that job interview. And um, 
after um, we had been playing for a little while, you know, as life continues, people sort of lose touch, move on, you know, um, move out of country, move out of town, walk into the world. And Jordan and I fell out of touch um, for quite a little while. And, uh, and uh, Jordan had struggled with addiction for as long as I'd known him. When I met him, he had started to get clean. And um, I guess as time went on, it sort of got the better of him and he ended up taking his own life. And this song in particular is one that I hadn't played for a long time. And at that point, when I found out about Jordan's passing, I sort of rediscovered it. And the song now has a completely different meaning from when I wrote it which has never happened in any creative capacity in my life at all. That the lyrics didn't change, the music didn't change, the feel of the song's the same, but it has this completely new meaning when it comes to suicide prevention and mental health in particular. And um, so I got one more song for you. It's called Jordan's Song. And it's inspired by um, the time we spent at his wake at his father's house. And uh, I was having a really hard time with it. Everyone's playing. There's a big music community around uh, Jordan that I was invited into as a result. And um, I was having a really, really hard time performing some of these songs. And it was everybody there who was able to console me and like, let me know that it was okay. It was his father, of all people. And um, that's where the song comes from. So there's a song called Jordan's Song. It is sad. Just to give ourselves a break. And it wasn't easy, my friend. The hole you left its turn to void. Ooh, we pour our hearts into everything. Now I have no choice. It's all right. I wish I could see you now. And it's all right. I wish I could see you now. All that love. And a home. All that love and stories to me now. Burning bright and fading fast. Cheated by the hourglass, a brilliant mind too soon. I've been caught up with the demons. I wish I'd seen the signs so I could have cleansed your temple true. Burning bright and fading fast. Cheated by the hourglass, a brilliant mind too soon. 
I've been caught up with the demons. I wish I'd seen the signs so I and I'll always be missing you. It's all right. I wish I could see you tonight. It's all right. I wish I could see you tonight. It's all right. Wish I could see you tonight, tonight. And it's all right. I wish I could see you tonight. All that love. All that love are dear stories to me now. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it. There truly isn't a, a better reason to get together for things like this. Truly is that. Well said. Love every single one of you. I've, I've never met any of you, but I love every single one of you. And I hope you know that. We love you too. Thank um, you so much, Oscar, AKA Drifter. Thank you. If you wanna, I guess maybe I'll plug my stuff. If you want to uh, hear some of my stuff, you can find it on Spotify. Uh, the project is called Drifter, uh, just with no vowels because all the other stuff is there. Um, it's uh, DRFTR. Um, yeah, you can find the musical. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit lost for words right now that spoke to me in a way that, yeah, I'm sorry for the uh, loss of your friend. I just, like my soul is full and I, you know, I have a few tears, which is an okay thing. We're all human, right? We're all authentic <laughs> and it's about being real. So yes, you're very thank, right. thank you. Just amazing. And well, you know, we've got one more artist to, to close this out. And on my phone, I have, you know, the stuff that I'm meant to say about her. And I might say that too. Romy's like, oh, shit, what's she going to say now? Um, so I had the privilege of being on The Hue uh, last year and this outrageous musician jumped on and it was like, you know, when you meet someone and you're like, that's my person. And I started messaging Romy and I was like, this is someone I want to be a part of my life. This is someone I am not going to let just come and be on this show and walk away. And so I got uh, Romy's involved uh, as the um, local kind of senior producer for curbside concerts uh, in Canada. And so I got her to, to come and perform in Charlotte's backyard. And, you know, she's not my type of girl, but I was like, love at first sight. Hey, baby. And we have just <laughs> been able to uh, hang out um, when COVID has permitted ever since. And it is just such uh, an honour to call her my friend. I can't describe what it means to me. So I'm going to read the little blurb that she sent. Hailing from Winnipeg, Manitoba, globally renowned musician Romy Mays is a Juno nominated, lucky I know what that means these days, CFMA nominated six time Western Canadian Music Awards winner, a veteran to the trade, Mays has cultivated a strong set, skill set, there you go, in marketing promotion and has become an esteemed event planner. Oh, I should have got you to help plan this. Anyway, 
Um, she's turned her attention off the promotion of her own uh, career to focus on keeping Canadian musicians employed by doing curbside concerts, which was set up in COVID times, but I think will continue to be amazing. And uh, I just cannot say enough. I've told her if she doesn't play my favourite songs, no more friendship, but we will see. So without further ado, Romy, it is my greatest pleasure to have you close us out. Well, thanks for that amazing intro, first of all. Second of all, I thought I was your type of girl and that you wanted to be with me. So that's kind of harsh. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, well, I could be. I didn't know you were interested. I'll just uh, <laughs> over as soon as COVID finishes. But does Mike mind? Yeah, my heterosexuality might come into play here. But other than that, Mike's over here explaining, like, um, so... <laughs> But you know, Robin and I have our own thing. We'll just talk about it later. Um, no, anyway, Robin, you said a lot of things and a lot of them were the things I was gonna say. So I don't have much left to say because I just, meeting you has been um, a really important thing in my life as well. And your your patience and your, and your wonderful listening and the job that you do really, really sings to me. And so when I get to sing to you, I feel like we're reciprocating something really beautiful. And um, I also lost a sibling, so, uh, my sister happened to be murdered, actually, but I also feel in the same way that uh, murder that that suicide is kind of a murder as well because it's not really the person's choice or fault. It's it's something that is outside of them more than we realize. And uh, I really feel for you, Robin, on today and every other day, and everyone that's lost somebody. And uh, so. So having said that, none of my material is really about suicide or depression or anxiety, but having been someone who's experienced anxiety my whole life, as most musicians have, if not everybody else, um, I definitely uh, feel like all my songs have come from some source of anxiety. Mm -hmm. And to start, I know we only have about 25 minutes, so I'm just going to play for about 20, 25 minutes, and you guys can close it out with whatever comments you'd like. Um, Oscar, I thought you were awesome. I love your voice so much. And if I do take curbside concerts over to, uh, I do have a couple like Susie Vinnick from the, lives in Niagara on the Lake. And I have a couple artists out there that are interested and we're slowly moving to go back in the Maritimes. So uh, once we get through our full Ontario, which it's next on deck. So I'll get in touch Oscar when we get out that way. So anyways, let's play some music. And this is the song Robin that you always request. So this is for Robin and Dean and everybody else that's listening. I can't tell you that I love you. I can't say I think of you, but I know, yes, I know. We got something going on. So don't try to resist me. I know you miss me and I know Yes, I know we got something going on. Wrap your arms around my hips, kiss my neck and touch my lips. Know what you want, no, you can't stay. I just can't turn you away. If you won't, call me baby. I still say maybe, but I know, <laughs> yes, I know. We got something going on. Well, you know just where to go. Real soft, real slow. No when to stop, no what to say. I just can't turn you away. I can't tell you that I'm lonely. You're my one and only, but I know, yes, I know. We got something going on. So don't go, cause I know. We got something 
go hoeing on. And the crowd went wild and mute. <laughs> I remember the first time I did a, a video stream, I guess early in COVID, I must have done some kind of video stream before, but what I was doing um, this, this kind of stream, you know, 45 minutes, I think I did two hours my first one I ever did. And you're just playing to a screen. You don't know how many people are viewing. You don't know how many, you can't even, like I could see some of you guys at the top of the screen right now, but you can't see anybody. So you kind of play for like one or two hours and then afterwards you just, you don't know if anybody gave a crap, you know, you just don't even know. And then at the end you see all the comments and all these kinds of things, but at least I can see four or five of you clapping in mute on the top. <laughs> all right, let's pick it up to a little bit of this. So this song I originally wrote for the ladies, like I was like, or for the men, I was, I had written it like, hey man, why can't you just be our sweet something steadies on the side? And then all, oh, thank you, Yukon Bonnie for giving a crap. <laughs> um, but then all the women in the audiences forever were just like, play sweet something steady. So I was like, I guess this song's for the ladies. I should probably sit properly so I'm not screwing it up. Mother's pearls. Want you to tell me that I'm your only girl. Just one man. Come on by, pick me up and take me for a ride. Why can't you be my sweet something steady on the side? your folks for dinner i don't need to impress don't need to walk the aisle i don't need the fancy dress i don't need to hear you love me while you look deeply in my eyes why can't you be my sweet something steady on the side please don't tell me your middle name don't tell me where you went to school. Don't come running to me in the rain. You're gonna wind up somebody's floor. Call me in the daytime and ask about my day. Don't be sitting on my doorstep. You know that I'm away. Hear my body calling. You won't be denied. Why can't you be my sweet something steady on the side? Why can't you be my sweet something steady on the <laughs> Thanks guys. I don't know what happened there. I hadn't, I hadn't played that song in a long time and I, the whole time I was just struggling to figure out how I, how I, the rhythm I used to play it. Whatever, it works, it works. All right, since I only have a few songs really to go, I think I'm gonna play something a little bit more uh, to the feel of the vibe of the evening. Um, I am gonna play You're Gonna Miss Me, that's what I'll play. And You're Gonna Miss Me isn't about um, someone that's left us um, to another world or whatever you call the blue dot, Robin, whatever you call the blue dot. But, uh, but this is about someone just, just not being there for you and leaving you. And uh, to be completely honest, I went to Mexico and just got drunk and wrote this song when I got hurt. So that's how that went. You're gonna miss me. Dreaming to kiss me. And you'll be broken when I don't love you no more. You can't forget me. You can't upset me. You didn't reach your hand when I was falling to the floor. Oh, 
no more tears for you, no more nights where I lay blue, no more hoping, no more wishing or wanting more, no more tears I cry, no more sitting and wondering why. I will give you forgiveness. I can't give you no more. How could I let you? Let me regret you. I guess forever was a foolish thing to believe. You made a promise. Couldn't be honest. I guess I should have known that one day one of us will leave. miss that note. <laughs> no more sitting there wondering why. I will give you forgiveness. I can't give you no more. I will give you forgiveness. I can't give you no more. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. We can go to 910. All right, then we'll go to 910 if you guys want to. Then I'll just back it up. I'm gonna do, I grew up playing a lot of country and bluegrass and uh, I sort of avoided it after a while. I kind of felt like it was something I didn't want to do anymore. Like G, C, D, now we're gonna play the same thing in A. Now we're gonna play the same thing in D. Now we're gonna, and I was just like, can't, there's gotta be more to music than this. So. I sort of just like thought I was leaving country and bluegrass and stuff like that behind, but it stayed with me. It stayed with me pretty much the whole way through. And even though I, I lean to like the blues and the classic rock of stuff that I was into, um, really country is just like slow bluegrass and a different form of blues. So it's all in there. And in, a, I don't remember what year I wrote this song actually, but it was for an album, so like 2009? maybe <laughs> so this song is called heavy heart a little bit of country i got a heavy heart day that you left since we did part it's weighing down on my chest it was never to be Right from the start, something I know got to let go. It's a heavy heart. See your face in the street, your name in the crowd. The people I meet, they say that I'm looking down. Are you thinking of me? Out there where you are. Got to be strong, got to move on. It's a heavy heart. No more loving anymore. Come knocking on my door. You were the only one that led me to life. I'm making my mistakes, only giving what I take. Loving you is wrong, I can't be right. And time I'll be fine, it's a heavy heart. I really should practice more often. Oh, there's the country hat, thanks. I got a heavy heart. 
the day that you left. Since we did part, it's weighing down on my chest. It was never to be right from the start. There's something I know I've got to let go. It's a heavy heart. No more loving anymore. Come knocking on my door. You were the only one that led me to the light. Making my mistakes, only giving what I take. If loving you is wrong, I can't be right. Get you out of my mind. In time, I'll be fine. It's a heavy heart. Can get you out of my mind. In time, I'll be fine. It's a heavy heart. Thanks for putting on your cowboy hat too, Tim. That's funny. That's fun. Um, you guys can hear me all okay and everything, right? Like it's not crazy distorting. Should I back up? Too loud? Good enough? All right. Well, let's move everybody along to uh, a song about when people take too much from you. When they just take a little too much, they, uh, they expend your soul, they expend your being, and, and you just have to know when you have to say to somebody, I've got no more for you. And if you don't do that, you're going to hurt yourself. So uh, I called it given is gone, like my given is gone. So it's about that. Some like a quiet whisper and sleep. Some like it sideways. On a good night a drink Some like to tell you What they want to believe What are you doing? What are you doing? So I moved to the country To find peace of mind I left the sidewalks, the bright lights behind. When I was younger, I knew which one I would be. What are you doing? What are you doing? I know I've been righteous. I know I've been strong. I used to be fearless. I've been all wrong. I know they tell you it's easy as you move on. Won't you forgive me for all my giving is gone? I get to thinking time and again I've broken some hearts lost some good friends but I can't rest easy when things just aren't what they seem what are you doing what are you doing with me I know I've been strong. I used to be fearless. I've been all wrong. I know they tell you it's easier as you move on. But won't you forgive me? For all my giving is gone. Won't you forgive me? All my giving is gone. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. 
oh, well, what the hell? Right. Yeah, they said if we're going to go till 10, 9, 10 now. So I got to get my shit together because I was all like, yeah, hey, I'm almost done here. <laughs> we're just getting cooking. <laughs> okay, so, um, well, then let's pick up the pace and have a little fun for a sec. You guys still have your cowboy hats there. <laughs> I've got something for us all to do, and you can unmute yourself if you want to, dare to, but there's a chorus coming up in this song that I want everyone to sing along with, whether you decide to unmute yourself or not. Be brave, though, because then we could actually all sing together. There are 30 participants, and you're all on mute, so you could just hit the space bar and be not on mute, just for the chorus, unless you feel like humming along the whole song. Yeah, Robin, that's the spirit. <laughs> so this song is called Long Way Home. It's one of those kind of bluegrassy songs I wrote along the way. And the chorus is Long Way Home. So when we get there, I'll give you your cue. I don't like the way that sounds. One time. I just picked up this guitar today. It's a fantastically expensive and beautiful guitar that I'm gonna have to make payments on. <laughs> it's a Gibson J45 worth almost, well, half of what's left of owing on my car. <laughs> so you figure that out on your own. All right. Screen, well, it doesn't seem so mean no more. When you're standing at the dance, no one taught you about romance. Taking second glances out the door. So this will be the chorus. It's a long way home. So I'll be the line. See the finish line. It's further all the time. All right. You don't care which kind of arm you beat on. <laughs> Sitting with St. Augustine, bleeding heart of grenadine. You don't even know which side he is on. All right, everybody sing it. It's a love. <laughs> 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 Robin mutes herself. <laughs> it's further all the time. This is supposed to be fun for a minute. Come on. It's a love song they were stringing you along from the start come on oscar i know you got pipes it's a love <laughs> you see the finish line gets further all the time last chance anyone unmute themselves it's a love
like maybe one, potentially two more, and uh, then I'll turn it back over to Robin and Tim so uh, we can say some final things. And I'm sure you want to thank everybody for being together in this fine evening. Um, I'm just so sorry you lost your brother, Robin, you know, and uh, you'll have to spend the rest of your life dealing with that, as we all do with pain. And we just, all we can do really is just uh, get better at dealing with it. That's, you know, I, I used to tell my daughter when she was younger, when something she wouldn't like happened, and I would say, well, it's happened. You know, whatever's happened, we don't have control over that. So whatever is going to happen will happen, but the only thing we have control over is how we deal with it. And um, it's, you know, it's a struggle. It's a struggle, um, but it makes us who we are. And I feel like if my sister hadn't died, I wouldn't be the person I am in many good ways too. So, uh, so there's a lot of that in there. And uh, I just want to tell you that I'm really, really thankful we're friends and that you asked me to be part of something this important. It's really sweet. And I'm glad you have such a good support system around you because you're so good at supporting everybody else. So um, having said that, I'll play you guys a song called Hard Road. I wrote this, uh, I travel, I've toured a lot as you, I think I've told you all whoever's listening quite a bit. And this is a tour I did by myself in Texas. Oh, down to Texas. I was, I was away for like four weeks by then. And this song kind of came to me mostly in a dream, which sounds a little cheesy, but it did. And then I woke up and wrote it and it kind of described um, how I was feeling and, and how I was trying to just, I just wanted to get home, really. Tonight the night's hours. Longer than the days, it's been plenty of good weeks counting since I upped and went away. Surely ain't the first time, no, it's not the last, but there's something in the highway changing from the past. Where a one would sit for coffee, there's a second empty chair, and where a one would shoot a whiskey. The conversation's bare and I've been shutting my eyes tight and with my arms over my ears. I put myself beside you, miles away from here. It's been a long, hard one out on the road. When I get back home, when I get back home, turn the lights down low, turn off the radio. Come lie with me, come lie with me. It's been a long, hard road. I know I haven't called. Don't pay that no mind. I'm never sure I'll find the words to make it be all right. I don't want you to worry. I don't want to lay you down. All I got's another story from another nameless town. In the bars of lonely faces, looking back at mine, and I picture us together by the jukebox. <laughs> Sorry, I got emotional for a sec. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll get it back. Let's do that verse again. Uh, Bars and lonely faces are looking back at mine, and I picture us together by the jukebox singing lines. So I grab a roll of quarters, pick them one by one. The couples they out two step, though the band has long been done. Soon I slip out of the back door, light a cigarette. No one expects a salutation. So I leave my beer and get. Maybe I'll come home early. Maybe show up in the night. But my feet keep on walking to the neon motel light. It's been a long, hard one out on the road. When I get back home, when I get back home, turn the lights down low. Turn off the radio, come lie with me, come lie with me. It's been a long, hard one out on the road. When I get back home, when I get back home, turn the lights down low, turn off the radio, 
Come lie with me. Come lie with me. It's been a long high road. <laughs> I don't know what came over me there. <laughs> uh, you never know when things are going to hit you. You just never do. So, <laughs> anyway. Okay. All right. Last song. I'm going to pick it up for last song. <laughs> I'm going to sing about sex. That always makes me happy. <laughs> Sorry, no mic's crying. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's the weirdest thing, right? Like, my sister died. And I'm not trying to take this away, Robin, and make it about me. It's everybody's. It's everybody's thing. But my sister died, uh, like, 35 years, 31 years ago, 30, how old am I? 32 years ago. So it's not really, there's never, I never, it's not like I cry every time I talk about her at all. You just never know. And I don't know, I just, I got caught up in the moment. And then the song is not even about her. <laughs> I don't know why it just got me. Anyway, that's just life and that's live music. And yeah, hugs to you too, Robin. And everybody, and everybody. Anyway, now I'll just sing about good old fashioned romping. Yeah, I have time for a quick one here. Um, this song's called Lucky Tonight. It's the title track of my 2011 album. I have a whole bunch of albums, but I don't sell them anywhere but online. I just don't want to manufacture anything anymore. It's pointless. <laughs> but if anybody's interested about curbside concerts, we are across Canada. I'd be happy to uh, to talk about that. You could just look up curbside, curbsideconcerts.ca and uh, we provide uh, live, safe music, all across the country and employ we have over 100 artists on the roster and uh it's it literally they'll we will come to your home like it's a skip the dishes for music and we're just uh, really happy about that this song is called lucky tonight no i gotta get it too. Hold Coming in closer, don't be afraid. No all the games that the other girls play. Make it real easy, make it all right. I'm playing this in the wrong key, aren't I? No, I was like, I'm so scattered now. Who's with me? Who's with me? Everybody. Back in the day, my friend Jay and I would say holla, and then if you're with them, you'd say holla back. I think that's a thing that we didn't make up. All right, whatever. Coming in closer, don't be afraid. No all the games that the other girls play. Make it real easy, make it all right. Wearing that smile, swaying my hips. Knocking it down, I'm licking my lips. You want a woman with the bat of an eye. Baby, I feel lucky tonight. Be my man. Thank you, Thank you, Robbie.
Give it up with your hands all over the place, everybody, for Rami and everybody who was on this evening. Yee-haw! Too numerous to mention. Well, not really, but we don't have much time. I go only fast. I just want to uh, thank everybody, uh, all of the people who came to see this, all of the performers. Thank you so much giving of your time and hearts. Uh, you know, listening for the whispers uh, is something that we've got to get better at. We've got to hone our ears better. And um, you, can, you can see those whispers in eyes. You can see the whispers in behavior, you know, and if we can learn what to do when we recognize and understand those whispers, uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be on our way to a better world, I guess. Uh, and with that, I want to thank you once again, everybody, uh, and uh, turn it over to Robin. Well, uh, Tim, what a great job as MC. All of the artists tonight, my soul is full. I know that my brother is at peace. I know he is joyful. And I know that it wasn't like that for him like physically here and this is a, a, a celebration and what a way to celebrate one year without my brother like I there are no words and I know I have only two minutes left and let's have those hard conversations let's sit let's be honest because if we can be honest and sit in our discomfort and work through those hard conversations. Imagine the beauty that awaits us all. Like whatever the conversation, whether it's about suicide, whether it's about life, whether it's about relation, whatever it is, it's beautiful. And if you feel the urge, I'm gonna say it one more time. There is no, nothing compulsion about this. If you feel the urge, um, clinic and their Manitoba Suicide Prevention Support Line, Canada Suicide Prevention Service, their National Crisis Line, or if you have an interest in supporting um, Charlotte, myself and Kirsten going after the, the all-in family peer support workshops and family peer support groups, we want to make a difference. Um, just hit Charlotte up at charlotte at robinpeace.com and let her know um, because, you know, we have to make sure we can get do donations sorted and stuff. But thank you for everything. This is beyond my wildest dreams. And all of you, you have my soul and my heart forever. So thanks, everyone. Um, there's nothing more I can say. And you all clean up real good. <laughs> yeah, you all look amazing. Especially that feller there with Bonnie. He got hat on. I like that hat. I want